Tales being told in Orange Beach tonight, but these are not about the ones that got away. Instead, the subject of these stories are causing a battle for bragging rights as well as prizes topping $1 million. Local 15 Today anchor Kelly Jones is in the middle of the action for us at the Wharf tonight for the Blue Marlin Grand Championship. And Kelly, we have been watching the numbers on that scale soar all evening. We have been watching it. We've been ooing and eyeing. We've been taking to social media. Now, I have a guest, uh, Mike McKinley. We're going to get to him in a second because we're, he's going to tell you where all the fish go and how that helps uh, those less fortunate. But this young man right here, tell everybody your name. My name is Ryan Cooper. And you caught what? I caught uh, one dolphin and two nice-sized tuna. At the ripe old age of 11. Yes, ma'am. And did you have fun? Yes, I had the most fun I've ever had bill fishing. We are so proud to see you. We have the great pictures of it. Did you catch that? Uh, yes, ma'am, I did. What is that? That is a yellowfin tuna. The young man knows his fish, doesn't he? Thank you so much. Congratulations to you. Great to see the young people getting into the act. Uh, Mike McKinley, I talked about you because all the blue marlin caught. Yeah, he did a great job. All the blue marlin caught today. Where do they go? Uh, we use all the blue marlin to feed the homeless every Sunday. Uh, you catch one of these fish, uh, we can get up to 900 meals out of one fish. Uh, we've got, what, five blue marlins, so I think I'm taken care of for the rest of the year. But we, uh, we go downtown every Sunday afternoon, 4 o'clock in Mobile, and, uh, and feed anybody who wants to get in line. And it's important that you mention that because you're based in Satsuma, but you make sure to go uh, and, and feed those in Mobile. Your daughter started this organization. Why so? Yeah, my daughter Marina started this when she was 14. Uh, we uh, went to a chili cook-off, and there's a little story behind that. But on the way home, she uh, expressed that she'd like to start doing something to help everybody. And one meal was created, and we've been going for five and a half years now, thanks to a lot of help of uh, folks all over town and especially here. I guess. Right, right. And you're seeing, you're seeing it firsthand. So five and a half years ago, you started this. 900 meals coming out of this? I can, out of one of them 500-pound marlins, I can get almost 900 meals. I mean, and, and you really go to business when it comes to taking care of getting the fish from what we're seeing here to the plate. Tell me about all you're doing behind the scenes. Well, it starts off, I got to take them out of their truck, put them in my truck. And tomorrow, rubber boots and knee pads and knives. Um, it'll take me probably six hours to clean these fish, um, probably another three hours to get them bagged up. Hopefully some folks will come by the house tomorrow and help me out. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a long ordeal. Then after we get through with it, I had to dispose of the carcass, and uh, there's a lot to it. Definitely thorough. We appreciate you joining us uh, this afternoon, this evening. Gosh, we've been out here all day having a lot of fun. But it's important to note that these fish are not wasted, that they are feeding those less fortunate. So thank you for joining us. Right, uh, that is much. one meal. And if you'd like to uh, get more information, we'll have that on our website, local15tv.com. But how about that young man? How great was he? 11 years old and just naming them. Love that. Okay, be sure to stay with us because we're going to be back at 1015, Jim Cox and myself, and we're going to do a wrap-up of the show, tell you uh, who won, give you all the fun that happened today, talk about the weight, and talk about, from an educational standpoint, how the kids are really benefiting from that. So you want to keep it tuned here as you watch Derek Rose, and then we'll talk more fish. Derek, back to you. All right, Kelly Jones live for us in Orange Beach. As you heard Kelly mention, she is not going to be going far.